Well, we've been working for you to get you an answer this evening. Should you and your family be wearing masks? Well, it's happening in other countries and other parts of the world impacted by the virus, but why not here? Tonight, more questions in the ongoing coronavirus crisis. As Americans wrestle with whether or not to purchase masks for everyday use, the Trump administration and the U.S. Surgeon General Dr. Jerome Adams told the country in February that masks were not necessary. Dr. Adams, in a tweet dated February the 29th, said, Seriously, people, stop buying masks. They are not effective in preventing general public from catching coronavirus. Fast forward a month later, here's Dr. Adams on the Today Show. It's important to know the CDC, the World Health Organization, and my office originally recommended against the general public wearing face masks based on the best available evidence at the time uh, regarding whether or not they could prevent people from catching the coronavirus. We are learning more and more about this virus, as Kate uh, mentioned. We now know that there's a significant amount of asymptomatic spread, and the task force has asked the CDC to look into whether or not we should change our recommendations to prevent people from spreading the novel coronavirus. And the government's position directly contradicts what's seen in other parts of the world. People in places like China and South Korea, where the virus has infected and killed thousands, walk the streets with their faces covered. We spoke with WSA 9 contributor and infectious disease physician, Dr. Linda Nava. I don't think that there's a right answer here. I think that the answer here, whether or not to wear a mask, is actually a difficult answer. Let me tell you why. Uh, right now, we have a huge mask shortage here in the United States. Um, if they do decide to uh, consider having everyone wear masks, you don't want to take that mask away from the healthcare providers who are in the real and present danger of getting infected. And for some sort of protection or peace of mind, people have been making their own mask. Dr. Nabha says that too can be problematic. Depending on the fabric, may not have the ability to filter particles of the virus through the fabric, um, which gives people sometimes that false sense of security. You're wearing a, a covering or a mask, you're covering your mouth. Um, therefore, you're protected from the virus. So it may not necessarily be filtering out some particles of the virus. Dr. Anthony Fauci, he's the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, spoke with our own Nora O'Donnell about the need for personal masks on the CBS Evening News. Here's part of what he had to say. We know from studies that masks are not 100%, but we don't want the perfect to be the enemy of the good in doing something that you could have an impact in preventing transmission. So he added that in a perfect world, if there were enough masks and he qualifies that there are not, that it could potentially be helpful for people to wear one. We'll let you know what the CDC says about its review. Bruce.